Hey, welcome to my journal entry. My name is Tox Arotere and I read from my journal every week because I want to show you how I use this free tool to navigate my life. But I also want to encourage you to use it for yours as well. I'm passionate about the mind. I'm passionate about entrepreneurship and I'm passionate about my Christian faith. And all of my passions converge on my podcast to leave an inside out where I talk for 20 to 30 minutes about whatever the topic is. But my journal, that's a whole different story. My journal gets the brunt of everything that's in my mind. It is it is a written version of my mind because I put everything in here, um, especially when I'm dealing with overwhelm. I put it all in here and then I analyze what's in my mind because now I can see it now I'm not being emotional about it now I can look at it objectively and I address them so this date is the 23rd of February 2024 comfort is a thief of destinies spending three hours daily driving at the risk of speeding tickets while paying to do so is all for comfort I believe the discomfort will play a part in manifesting my future. It will squeeze me out of my comfort zone so I can advance quickly. I am using everything, inspiration on the inside and pressure from the outside to manifest my goal. So I remember when I wrote this, I was in Kobe Bryant world. I happened upon a video clip or recording of his and became hooked. Prior to that, I'd never really watched any of his material, any of his videos. So obviously we all know him, the late Kobe Bryant, but he left a legacy behind and I am one of the recipients of that, of that legacy. So I started watching all videos, every single video he ever recorded, not the games, but the interviews and so on. And I was so challenged by the way he created a pressure cooker within which his talent was going to be manifested. And my conclusion was that I have it too easy. I have been working to feel comfortable, which is very different from working to manifest my purpose on earth. And the danger of comfort, which I've called the thief of destinies, is that it will lie to you and tell you you have arrived where God assigned you to be when really you're just comfortable. So I've been collecting speeding tickets as though I'm in a competition to see how many I can collect. It's crazy. 20 miles per hour driving through central London is insane. And those were some of the reasons why I decided to give up my beloved parking space. I work in Chelsea and parking in Chelsea is difficult, expensive, but I did have a 24-7 parking space, which I pay for every month, which was everything to me. And I, I gave it up last month, um, which was a difficult decision to make because of the inconvenience of now having to go by public transport and, and so on. But I realized that Every time people said to me, hey, you drive, you drive all the way because I live in Kent on the border of Kent and London. You drive all the way to 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 um, central London. I'm like, yeah, I do. And I love it because then I listen to audiobooks and I listen to podcasts and chat on the phone. I even have meetings in my car and my car is very comfortable. And I had all of these things. But I realized that really what I was doing was making it's easier for me to do those things. And it doesn't necessarily need to be easy because if something is comfortable, why would you want to change it? And I think that my, that part of my lifestyle had become a crutch for me. And so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I decided I was going to give it up. Initially, when I thought about it, I was looking at it from a distance and saying, oh, it'd be nice to do that. But as time went on and I began thinking a lot about taking action on a thought, I've got in here prior to that entry, when you take action on a thought or idea, you solidify it so it begins and so begins the sculpting, the physical manifestation of the end goal. My end goal is to live a disciplined, productive life. And this thought of giving up my parking space is born out of it. So I did it. 
And so that's what it was, was I was inspired by Kobe Bryant to create a more conducive environment for my goals to be manifested by squeezing out the best of me. And the squeezing has to had to happen under pressure. And so I had to create a, a more pressured environment for myself to get to to my to my office. I take I walk to the station, I take the train, I take the tube, and then I walk to the shop. So it's a long <laughs> checkered journey but the discomfort of it I felt and I still feel will be good for me so that's it so I had gave up my my parking space in March we're now in April um, and it's going very well I'm exercising more a friend of mine said to me just look at it as exercise you know look at it as you're fulfilling the goal of exercise and that was really helpful because that's helped me so talk to me about you tell me how you create conducive environments for your goals to thrive. I wrote here that I'm using everything, inspiration on the inside and pressure from the outside to manifest my goal. Inspiration is never enough. It's the feel good and the, the staring up we feel when we think about what we could accomplish. But that's not always enough to get you to the finish line because some days you wake up and you just don't feel inspired. Some days you feel like crap. I do that. I have That happens to me quite often. And, uh, but then pressure on the outside, you see, see, you find that a lot of people who had very difficult lives ended up being extremely successful. One person is Stephen Bartlett. I'm going off tangent a bit now, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Stephen Bartlett was, he had a lot of trouble in school and, you know, being labeled and difficulties, poverty in his home and lack. And I just only just found out that aspect of his life and, and I was broken as I listened to it because I'm a mom and I could just imagine this sweet little boy going through all of that. But it, but he chose to use that as pressure to create the life that he has today. And I think we can all do that. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.